Hey there, Judy Jamison the Psychic here and welcome to Intuitive Tuesday. In this week's short video lesson, and it is a short one, I'm going to explain to you what is the difference between when your intuition is talking to you and when your instincts are talking to you. They might sound similar or you might think they fit together, but they don't. Make sure you hang out to the end of the video because I have something special for you. If you are curious and intrigued by all things psychic, intuitive, and spiritual, make sure you hit the subscribe button right underneath this video so you get notified when I put out new training videos. So if you're ready to go, let's get started. So there's a common misconception that when your instincts are talking to you, it is the same thing as your intuition. No. I'm going to show you the easiest way to completely tell the difference and break them down. Your instincts go more along the line with your ego, which is that other voice in your head, and I'll explain a little bit about that towards the end. It can kind of screw you up a little bit. You know how you have those two voices in your head, and when you're trying to make a decision or something's going on, you're ping-ponging all over the place in your head? That's something different. So how do you know when you're in a space of listening to and working with your intuition? You will feel calm and relaxed and you are looking to spirit or a higher power having a feeling of trust and safety. How do you know if it's your instincts kicking in or your ego or that other voice? You're looking for the threat or the safety mechanism. There's a big difference between intuition calm, at peace, knowing truth versus your instincts where you're prepping and planning and, and looking for the what ifs and the backup plan. If you watched last week's video, I went over the difference between your intuition and wishful thinking. So let me just give you a real quick crash course on the feeling part of them. Anytime you're working with your intuition, your psychic senses, any of that spiritual stuff, you always have to tune into here in your heart center and pay attention to feelings. Everything in the spiritual world revolves around feelings. So how does your intuition feel, especially if the shit's hitting the fan in your life or you're in a, a really bad negative place? <clears throat> you're going to feel safe. You're going to feel truth. You're going to feel calm. You're going to feel steady. Even if you know something scary or something that you don't want to happen, Meaning, I don't know, maybe you have a feeling that you're going to lose your job or get fired or that your spouse is going to leave you. Or that, that's what I mean by something bad. Inside, there's a difference between like feeling the truth and feeling something that's false. When you know something to be true, like I said, even if it's not what you want to hear or what you want to experience, it has a calming, okay, this is what's going on. Everything's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. That's how your intuition feels. Whereas the instinct is like prepping for war or having a backup plan or trying to hurry up and scatter and get all your ducks in order and your emotions are scattered and going up and down. That's not how your intuition speaks to you. So how easy was that, right? Really clear and simple. Intuition, you're looking to spirit or looking for spirit and trusting it. Instinct, you're looking for the safety and the backup plan. So as I mentioned earlier in the beginning of the video, when you're working with and developing your natural abilities, there are some things that will completely derail you and trip you up and just turn it all to hell in a handbasket. That is that other voice in your head. The one that makes you ping pong back and forth where you have this full-blown conversation with yourself and answering yourself. And even sometimes having a conversation and visualizing the fight where you know exactly what the other person is going to say and you're prepping it back and forth and all. That would be you being in your instincts, not in your intuition. But if you want to learn the, dis the difference between the two, and the one thing that really screws people up is they don't trust it. You will receive an intuitive message and we have this wonderful thing called free will where you choose what it is that you're going to do, what actions you're going to take. A lot of people will receive a, an intuitive message and then they're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I, I'm not going there. Or they're worried about what other people are going to say or what other people are going to think. And then you're denying and suppressing your true intuitive abilities that are trying to come out. 
guess what? The more you suppress them and the more you ignore them, the more you turn them off to the point where it's not even going to talk to you anymore. Anymore. It's like this long lost cave that you got to go on this journey to go find it. So if you would like to learn the beginner's basics on how to open your intuitive abilities, receive messages, and then have the backup plan and the balls to intuitively trust what it is telling you for your ultimate highest greatest happiness and good check out the link that's underneath this video it is a beginner's crash course on how to open your intuition and work with it the link will be right underneath this video for you to check out so with that being said i'm going to wrap up this video hopefully you hit the subscribe button when I first started out here, if not, you could still do that right now. Feel free to comment and talk to me. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your experiences. I get notifications when someone comments. Start a dialogue with me. I would love to chat back with you. So I hope you have a wonderful, phenomenal, kick-ass week. Hopefully that video helped you out tremendously. And hopefully <laughs> I will see you right here next week on this channel. See you later.